Let your imagination run riot to supersize your business. Sharon Hornell from here is with Supersize Your Business. And our idiom today is let your imagination run riot. Now, given the events of the last year and a half, I don't especially love this expression. I, I like let your imagination run wild better than riot. Riot brings up negative connotations. That word to me is kind of a trigger word, given that I live in very close proximity to some of where this country's worst damage happened in the last year. So I still like the thought of this idiom. It, of course, means that you have a lot of strange and exciting or surprising thoughts and ideas. You uh, might behave in a wild or uncontrollable or noisy manner, which is kind of like a riot. You might function or be ex um, expressing without extreme. You're just proliferating ideas and spreading ideas and spreading uncontrollable thoughts and feelings and emotions. Businesses need to be able to harness the imagination, harness the power of our thoughts and our ideas in order to solve problems for people and make our businesses better. So how can you go about doing this, using your imagination, getting other people to use their imagination in your organization to create the vision of and actually bring in into reality the vision of and the idea of what you want? Absolutely everything, everything we can think of, everything we can see, everything that is around us, including us, all began in the imagination. We began as an idea. And in order to turn ideas to reality, we have to take some steps to make that happen. First, we want to clarify what that idea is. What is our vision? What is it that we're trying to create? And how are we trying to impact the world with our business? And we need to communicate that idea to other people, bring them involved. We've talked a lot about teamwork lately. How do we get other people on board and moving in the same direction that we are? to create and supersize the business that we're trying to create and have the positive impact that we want to have in the world. Well, there's there's things we need to do to, to make that happen. And it has to be intentional on purpose. We have to be clear and continuously communicating where it is that we're going as an organization. But everything begins with an idea. And I love this idea. I remember when I first heard it, it was decades ago now, and being so in awe because I'd never really thought about it that way. Like most kids, I just took everything that exists for granted and figured out that, you know, other people had imaginations that came up with things and solutions and ideas and created things in the world. But I didn't really think that it was necessarily possible for me to do that. And as I started to play with that idea and understand that I'm in charge of creating my own life, my own business, my own impact, my own relationships, everything that I want to see and experience in the world just like everyone else is, that I really discovered what fun life could be. And I invite you to do the same. It's one of the reasons I uh, decided to study engineering and creativity and how things work when I was in school, because I was always curious about how things work. Great at taking things apart, not so good at putting them back together again. But I wanted to see what they were made of and take them apart. And, and my mom used to joke that there wasn't a clock in the house that I didn't take apart. I did do that. If I saw a clock and I could get at it, it was probably going to be in pieces by the end of the day. Uh, so everything begins in our imagination, in our mind, as an idea. Every relationship we have, every, every thought we have uh, either leads to a reality of something manifesting in our life, something we want to create, or it prevents us from creating the things that we want to create. So we want to manage those thoughts to the best of our ability. We want to learn more about ourselves all the time so that we can become the leader that we need to be in order to supersize and grow our business. You know, businesses do all kinds of things to bring their ideas from people's imaginations into fruition. Um, they use things to, to um, stimulate people's emotions. Color is one of the, the quickest, easiest ways that organizations and other people use to uh, sell things. They use it in their packaging, their signage, their advertising, their brands, their brand colors. They use it to elicit an emotional response in their customers, or the people that they're here to serve, or to get people's attention. I, I looked up some color things yesterday because I find color fascinating. And of course, red is the most popular color because it's the most uh, likely to stimulate emotions in people. So that's why we see a lot of red, businesses using red, especially in restaurants, because studies have been shown that red stimulates the emotion of being hungry. I don't know if I'm, yeah, I guess that's an emotion, but feeling hungry. And so that's why there's so much red in, in restaurants and, and uh, theaters and things, because they want to stimulate your emotions and get you to buy more food. So there's, 
there's science behind all of this stuff. And I don't know if it's science, but there's studies behind all of it. So we call that science these days. Uh, and you can research it and you can plan and you can figure out what works for you. Mostly it's testing with the people that you serve because studies are just of one little snapshot in time, kind of like a Polaroid picture, and they may not apply to your situation and they certainly might not apply today. So love to know how you have let your imagination run riot or run wild in the past. And is that how you decided to be in the business that you're in and are growing and supersizing the business that you're in? We'd love to hear about that in the comments below. Otherwise, go out, have an awesome day. Let your imagination run wild today. And I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in growing your business and maybe even in your life? Have an awesome day.